there's something called Meet the Press Daily, which I guess, I guess, what's his name? Uh, who's the Meet the Press guy? Chuck Todd. I guess Chuck Todd doesn't have enough viewers on Sunday uh, for Meet the Press anymore that they now have to do a little Meet the Press Daily. And so he does his Meet the Press Daily. And yesterday on the Meet the Press Daily, he tried to talk about uh, President Trump and the and the ballots. You know how the ballots are are going to be a problem. And Donald Trump, even you know yesterday here in Jacksonville, he was talking about how the mail-in ballots and the ballot fraud and this and that. So he did a mashup of all the times Donald Trump has tried to warn Americans about the uh, about the sanctity of this particular election because of the overabundance and sometimes the force feeding of mail-in ballots by the Democrats in an effort to rig the election. And here's the, uh, here's the mashup from, the, um, from Chuck Todd's daily Meet the Press. Listen. The only way we're going to lose this election is if the election is rigged. Remember that. What's going on with balloting will prove to be one of the great catastrophes in the history of our country. The problem they have with the ballots is the people sending the ballots and the people counting the ballots. And who are they sending them to? Where are they being sent? Those paper ballots you talk about, a bad thing? Counterfeit them, forge them, do whatever you want. It's a very serious problem. Fake ballots, millions and millions of ballots. Cheating with those ballots, all of those unsolicited ballots, those millions of ballots. This is a scam. Sending ballots. This is going to be the scam of all time. And they're trying to make our numbers look bad. There's fraud. There's missing ballots. There's going to be fraud. It's a disaster. What they're doing is a hoax with the ballots. One of the great embarrassments in the history of our country. They're setting it up for chaos. What they're doing is trying to sow confusion and everything else. I think it's going to be a terrible time for this country. Okay, so there you go. The president, and he is trying to uh, he's trying to make a point that what the Democrats are doing in all of these states where they're they're mandating or they're just sending out ballots to anybody is going to result in fraud. It's going to result in all kinds of uh, ballot tampering and all kinds of election tampering, and it's going to cause a mess on November the third, which the Democrats are counting on because then they can fight it in court and try to steal the White House because they know that they can't win it outright with a candidate like Joe Biden. I mean that's. That's an over. If you look at the candidate himself, there's no way he's going to convince enough Americans to cast their ballot for him. The only way they can get enough Americans to cast their ballot, especially in the swing states, is by cheating. And that's what Donald Trump is warning about. But Chuck Todd wants the country to know that Donald Trump is making it all up. He's making this up, folks. He's gaslighting the country. He's gaslighting the country, which is basically that's exactly the kind of thing somebody who's actually gaslighting the country would say to try to throw the scent, uh, you know, throw the dog off and have them bark up the wrong president. Well, Chuck Todd believes that this is being made up. But just yesterday, in Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, FBI personnel working together with the Pennsylvania State Police have conducted numerous interviews and recovered and reviewed certain physical evidence regarding mail tampering. At this point, they can confirm that in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, a small number of military ballots were discarded. Investigators recovered nine ballots. Of the nine ballots that were discarded and then recovered, seven were cast for President Donald Trump. Two of the discarded ballots had been resealed inside their appropriate envelopes, uh, and the contents of those two ballots are unknown. So... Here's what we've discerned from Pennsylvania yesterday, that nine military ballots were discarded. Seven of them were for President Trump, which is almost 70% of the thrown away ballots were for President Trump. We also know that when ballots are thrown away and recovered, good, look at this, people can open them up and find out who you're voting for. So the secret balloting goes right out the window. So as Chuck Todd is calling the president a liar and saying the president's trying to gaslight the country and saying there's no problem with mail-in ballots, the FBI in Pennsylvania, a swing state, is investigating nine military military ballots that were tossed aside, 70% of which were for President Donald Trump. But that's not all. In Wisconsin, authorities are investigating absentee ballots found in a ditch. In a ditch, the United States Postal Inspection Service and police in the swing state of Wisconsin are investigating how three 
three trays of mail, which included absentee ballots, ended up in a ditch after the mail was found at 8 a.m. Tuesday morning near a highway before it was immediately turned over to the U.S. Postal Service. The incident comes a mere five weeks before the presidential election, which has been steeped in partisan bickering over the system of mail-in ballots, absentee ballots, wavering trust in the alternative system of mailing in your ballot. And Donald Trump has been telling everybody for weeks now, it's going to be a disaster. It's a hoax. It's a fraud. It's going to be the worst scam in presidential history. And now we have proof that in two important states for Joe Biden, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. Absentee ballots, military ballots are being thrown away. And when they're recovered, we find that of those ballots, which mysteriously wind up in ditches and on the side of the road and in the trash, the 70% of those ballots, guess who they're for? President Donald Trump. Yet Chuck Todd says this whole thing about fraud and mishandling of ballots and it being a it being a disaster that's all that's all that's all bs he's making this up folks he's gaslighting the country mm -hmm. okay